And I cannot stop seeing these Timu challenges. Timu. This seems to be pretty happening right now. I think that is a sign that we need to give Timu a shot ourselves and see if we can find some valuable tackle. So let's see what we can find here. If you guys don't know what Timu is, it's an online marketplace and it offers heavily discounted things such as fishing tackle, but it is a great way to have some fun and find some really cheap gear. Rod and reel combo. Let's see what we got here. Only $30. But what, what is the action on it? That's what I want to know. It looks huge in the picture. Look how big that thing is. Ah, uh, let's add it to the cart. All right, now we have one rod. I guess if we have a rod and we're going to do a challenge, we need a rod holder. Let's go back and look at these little chintzy ones that we passed by. I'll check these out. We'll add that to the cart. 263 complete fishing gear set includes hooks, sinkers, floats, and much more for a successful fishing trip. So we're gonna go ahead and add that to the cart. We're seeing some interesting options here. I think I'm just gonna go with the 88 cent one. Seven pound, 10 pound, 14, 18. I think we're gonna be okay with 14 pound test. That should be enough for most of the fish around here. So let's add that to cart. So as you guys see, this is what we ended with here, our total is $57.41. We ended up getting that fish scent, the fishing kit, the rod holder, the rod itself. Now I'm finding overall this challenge is a lot harder to do as a bait fisherman. I see a lot of the bass guys do it and there's plenty of lures and stuff like that on the site, but there's not really too much to cater to the bank angler. In that case, we're gonna do the best with what we got. We'll see what happens. I'll get back to you guys when we get that package. Well, after two long weeks, we finally got our stuff. We are here early morning at the pond, and this feels so weird because I only brought this stuff. It feels so weird not bringing my rod, not bringing my tackle. We specifically picked this pond because the catfish in here and the fish period just pull so hard. So this stuff is about to be put to the ultimate test. Let's walk down there and get set up. All right, good morning, everyone. We have made it to our pond behind us, and I'm so excited to get in the water right now. We're about to unbox our Timu items. This is the rod. This is how it showed up, all caved in and stuff. That's not, that's not good. So we could be fishing with a broken rod. This is literally all I brought. So if we mess this up, uh, it's on team, it's not on me. I also hope I don't get lit up by ants doing this because ah, ants live here. I'm just gonna pull that open and then, ooh, okay. Seems to be intact for now. There should be a reel in here as well. Oh my goodness, I feel like a kid on Christmas, kind of. Okay, here's the reel. Take it out. It's all bubble wrapped as usual. All right, smoothish. You could definitely tell it's like made of something cheap though. There we are. Let's get this rod out of here and take a look at this. This is kind of gonna be our determining factor if we're gonna be fighting these fish in or we're gonna be hauling them in. So let's get it out. Same brand. Ooh, it's like a lightsaber. Okay, this is an interesting, uh, this is cheap plastic for sure. I feel like I'm gonna break it just holding it in my hand, but oh my goodness. I forgot it's telescoping. That could be bad. I usually tend to stay away from telescoping, but let's pop it out here. I feel like it's gonna break. That's my honest guess. Just gonna put that. There we go. I mean, we got a solid little setup here. This is the tackle, the line, and the scent as well. So let's see if all that came in one piece. I could just tear this one right open here. Oh, and the rod holder. I forget. I did get a rod holder. I think it should fit on there perfectly. So we have the fish attractant. Okay. Throw that on the bait. Hopefully it'll help us out. I don't know. And then we have the line. So when I ordered this line, I swear I ordered more than what this spool is because this is a tiny tiny spool of line all right and then we have our little tackle kit right here so i'm going to open this tackle kit and we're going to be trying to use most if not everything in here oh it's got little little compartments too so that is kind of what we're working with okay 
14 pound test allegedly. I mean, that's not, oh my goodness. That is not 14 pound test. Just my luck, man. Yeah, this is definitely not 14 pound test. Oh, uh, it's not like filling the top part of the spool. It's only filling like the very bottom. That could be an issue. <laughs> We're filling up like a cone right now. <laughs> we are now officially spooled on the Timu rod and reel. I'm gonna try and use the tackle here to catch some bait out of the pond to use for bigger fish. Let's see what we could possibly catch some of these smaller fish on. So since these bobbers are so tiny, we could put one of those on. The only issue is the hooks that we have are not so tiny. Smallest one we have is like a treble hook. That's the smallest hook we have and it's a treble hook. Well, I'm going to try and catch some bait with these hooks. I don't know if that's gonna happen or not. I'm gonna be honest. And I'm gonna put this micro, this bobber looks like a bead. Tiny micro bobber and a giant treble hook. I'm going to thread this worm on here. Just FYI, I would not recommend this for catching panfish. First cast, Timu, are you gonna help us out here with some bait? If not, we got the cast net, like I said, but I wanna see that, oh my gosh, we got bit immediately. We got one, guys. First, ca first cast. I didn't even have time to think bobber went literally straight under the water <laughs> all right guys we got our bait next step i'm going to put on a slightly bigger hook this looks more like a bass hook here but that'll work just fine for catfish get that on it is a bass style hook uh, but that's okay the gap is wide enough we can get a good piece of bait on there we're going to put our cheap little rod holder in the ground if we can um so it looks like it comes with the screw in spike here yep boom comes right out and then you just take it and screw it on the bottom and i think we'll be in business here boom that's easy little one is it gonna hold up i have no clue because the bites in here are insane okay we're all the way down I don't know. I'm just a, a smaller piece kind of guy. So I'm going to cut off that back section, but we'll still have all this when we do want to bait back up. But we're going to go with this chunky piece of bluegill right here. Get that on the hook. See if we get freaking destroyed, man. Go right. Boom. Just like that. Take the scale off. And that should be just about perfect for the fish in here. And I'm just going to go straight towards the middle. And we're doing this weightless, just because this is a pond, we don't really need too much weight in here. Tighten up, I'm gonna put it in our rod holder, also courtesy of Timu. Hopefully, that rod will be going down very soon. The Catfish Timu Challenge has commenced. Let's get it done. Oh, our line is moving. I think that was a bite. Oh my gosh. I got him. I got him. Oh my goodness. I don't know how big he is because it is freaking real, but we got one, guys. On the on the Timu line, rod and reel. He's pulling pretty good. He's pulling pretty good. Oh my goodness. Oh, he's taking off on me. Okay. I can't really horse him because it's not what I use, but look at that. Nice channel cat. See if we can flip them. Yes, we can. Oh my goodness. He has another hook in his mouth. Look at this, guys. Another hook right there in the corner. Help him out with that. Get that hook out of there. On that cut gill we just caught. And look at that. We still have a piece of that on there we could use. Our first little fish of the day. I will take it. And guys, I'm gonna get this bait back out there and see if we can catch another one. Next time, I think I'll let the fish fold the rod and uh, see how the rod holder holds up. But the rod did not bad. 
It's gonna go right in the middle. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Come on, do it to me. I wanna see that rod holder, hold up. We're getting bit, guys. Oh, there it goes again, there it goes again. Do it to me, oh, he's playing with us. I really wanna see how much of a beating that thing can take. I think next cast we'll put some of that fish attractant on there to see if that helps the fish hold on a little bit more. I'm gonna reel this up and put some of that fish attractant on there. Let's bust into this fish attractant. Dimethyl B to no, I don't know what that means. Now I kind of have a mixed opinion about fish attractants. I think sometimes they could spice up your bait. For the most part, they're all pretty the same. I think it's a spray. Oh, it is a spray. Take this out. Now it says, stay, stay long fish. Lightning lure fish. Master formulas. Uh, quickly lure fish. I don't know about that one, but we'll see. Is it gonna spray? Oh, there we go. I'm just gonna douse it because like I said, I'm not going to be using this again. I'm going to get this straight out to the middle. We haven't really been having to go too far out there, which is nice. Okay. We're back in there. There we go. Boom. Oh, that was fast. Oh, my goodness. But that was way faster than we got a bite last time. That was way faster. Oh, no, he didn't. He's on there. Oh, the drag came out. Come on. I tried to do an epic hook set. Ah, oh, still not an epic hook set. <laughs> this drag is terrible, but I got him. I feel like I'm trout fishing for catfish right now. Right here. He's pulling really good. Another cat. Looks like the hook got him a little better. This one's bigger, guys. Oh, yes! Yes, man! <laughs> we are doing it. The Timu rod and reel and line is getting it done. That is amazing. The gill with the fish attracted. I'm not going to say anything, but it just looked like that's the way it was. Well guys, I'm not gonna argue with results. This fish attractant spray st started the bite because they are biting good now. And it's happening much faster than it was before. Oh my goodness, that did not take long. Take it down, baby. Take it down, baby. We got him. Oh, he popped. He popped. Oh, that was a pretty good bite there. That did not take long either. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm going to leave it again and attempt to step back. And we'll see. Dog is eating grass. Oh, again, immediately. Take it down, baby. Take it down, baby. I got him that time. I got him that time. The Timu putting in work. <laughs> this one is, is feeling pretty good here. Oh my goodness. 14 pound test, alleged. I feel like I'm fishing with an oversized little mini pen rod. That's what it feels like. And these, <laughs> and these catfish are taking off. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh, wow. That's another solid, healthy one right there. On the Timu setup, not bad. It is holding up pretty decently, guys, I must say. But hey, he smacked the gill with that attractant on it. Did not take long at all. Let's get this guy out of here. Wow, man. Perfect. And I'm going to give it a spray with our magic fish spray that has surprisingly been working. Just like douse it Ugh. tastes like watered down not taste smells like watered down like fart spray or something it's the best way i could describe it 
put that out there and we'll wait for it once again i'm going to be giving all this stuff away that i was using today from timu so if you guys want a chance to win it leave me a comment down below share the video on social media and then i will be shuffling the winners through a random thing and announcing them in one of the next videos and then i will touch base with you guys in an email and send all this stuff out to you so that is just kind of my thanks we're getting bit right now and it's just a thanks for all the support this year it's been an amazing freaking year we just passed 14,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much. There's no chance he got that off, right? Nope. Yeah, I got him, baby. <laughs> we got him. Oh, man. It is amazing. It is amazing. <laughs> These fish are on fire today. On the Timu gear. We get it done. These hooks are plenty sharp, guys. Plenty sharp. Right in the corner, just like a circle hook would do. We are just getting it done. Timu. Well, as you guys can see, not the most quality rod, but guess what? It works, and it worked very well for all these catfish. Go get yourself some Timu gear. Hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you in the next video.